What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and we are hopping right into the topic which is choosing the best funneling troops for your attack. This applies to every attack because they all require good funneling guys, that is an essential part of the game uh, in terms of attacking. And we're starting right off with a Town Hall 12 attack here guys. This is a Queen Charge, very important to first funnel for the Queen Charge, then second funnel for the Hybrid. Uh, which is going to finish off the base here. The king was used on one side, a baby dragon, Pekka, and wizard was used on the other. And we'll talk about why the king is used in some situations, whereas other situations you might want to choose a troop, um, being an E-drag, a baby drag, a Pekka, or some combination. Those are all great funneling troops, or sometimes just a few wizards. It really depends on the attack. Um, you can see the queen charge going well here. I'm going to pause real quick. The reason the king was used over on this side is because it's what we call a flat side funnel, um, meaning that it's not really a corner. Uh, the other side was a corner. The queen's entering right here. You can see right over here there's a corner on the base, which is a lot easier to funnel because you can get this these buildings taken out on the outside uh, using regular troops usually, whereas over here um, you're not going to be able to take out any deeper into the layer of the base, um, which is more of a flat side funnel as opposed to a corner. The king is better in those situations because more is typically required. Um, he also got a ton of trash taken out and um, that ended up being important because he wrapped all the way around not just funneling the queen, but also uh, leading into the siege barracks, creating that funnel for the miners and the hogs to push through the core of this base. Like I said guys, this game is all about funneling and the hybrid is a very good example of it because you typically are funneling your queen into the base for a queen charge then you're also at the same time trying to create a funnel for your, uh, for your miners and hogs to move through the base and not get stuck on the outside and not spread out too much. Um, so that is what happened here. We'll have some more attacks. This went pretty fast. We will break down um, each funnel that was done and why the correct uh, troops were used in these attacks. But this just crushed this base. Really nice job um, by the attacker. It was a pretty big investment up here using at the beginning. You might notice a P.E.K.K.A., a Baby Dragon, Wizard. I mean, we're talking close to 40 troop space, but multiple defenses being taken down. That's always a plus um, if you're not just funneling regular buildings, but you're also taking out defenses that happen to be on the outside of the base something you want to look to do as the attacker to get extra value from those funnels. Let's move on. Um, this is from One Hive Alpha. I'm glad I came over. There's some very, very fun attacks to watch from this war. Um, mostly Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11. But like I said, or maybe I don't know if I've said this yet, but you know, th these fundamentals apply to every Town Hall level, which is why I love covering them in videos, because anybody can watch and learn from them. It uh, doesn't matter what Town Hall level you are. Okay. This is a great uh, example to look at. Over here we have what's called a corner funnel because the there's, it's basically at the corner of the base makes it easier because these buildings that would typically draw the queen this way, which you don't want to happen, are easier to take out because they're outside the walls of the base. Um, the baby dragon's typically a good go-to for funneling when there's not an air defense in the area. Look to use the baby dragon. Obviously you want to use the least amount of troop space as possible, so if you can, use a few wizards, but in that case it wasn't possible. There was a cannon there. Minions wouldn't have done it quick enough. That's why you use the baby dragon there. Always look to use you know, minions and wizards first, then work your way up in troop space. Baby dragon was a great choice, but typically you want to use a balloon to test for seeking air mines. Okay, on this side we have a flat side funnel because if there was a corner right on this archer tower and the base kind of you know, the walls went back in that direction and that was the corner. Um, it would be a corner funnel, but it's a flat side funnel because the base continues on. Um, we're talking about the wall structure deeper and past where the entry point is going to be. King is a great choice because what he's going to do is he's going to take out every building that's outside the walls, which is going to push the queen into the base eventually. Regular troops aren't going to do that as well. Uh, Pekka might be able to get the job done, but the king is going to be able to take out the defensive king here and make sure there's nothing left to pull the queen uh, towards the right side of the base. She has to take that jump and enter. Now, I think, you know, there was a, a use of wall breakers. It's not ent entirely clear what the goal of the charge was. It might have been for the queen to enter here and then take a, a jump later on. But either way, it was a good adjustment using the king there. And I think that... Um, even though there were some adjustments made and the original plan wasn't used, it's still a great example of how to, how to funnel at each stage in the attack. 
um, baby dragon, and then we have the flat side funnel, the king. Great, great uh, place to use the king is on those flat side funnels because they're so difficult um, because you can't take out that second layer of buildings, uh, which you can do on the corner funnels uh, because the, the second layer becomes on the outside of the base once you round the corner, if that makes sense. We'll look at more attacks as well. Unfortunately, that air defense picked off a bunch of healers, which is always kind of nails on the chalkboard for the attacker. But um, plenty of troops moving through. We'll even go times two just because, you know, we want to focus on the funnels here. Um, obviously, the siege barracks does a great job funneling the hybrid through the base. Uh, those wizards tend to stack up nicely. It was actually used pretty far back. Um, probably could have dropped it maybe a little higher towards the 10 o'clock position on the base. But either way, the wizards got the job done, and um, the siege barracks is a great thing to use on the opposite side uh, when you're doing a hybrid attack. If you don't have your king at your disposal still, um, it can get that other side of the funnel, the queen charge being that first side, it can secure the other side for the hybrid to push through. Okay. Um, base number 12 as we move along here what do we got this was an e-drag funnel which I I really liked and I think the e-drag is my favorite troop to use to funnel especially at Town Hall 11 um, which is why when you're base building it's always important to make sure you have those two tile gaps between buildings close to the outside especially um, defensive buildings you don't want to give them too much e-drag value because of that chain damage so just drops the E-Drag on the Town Hall, immediately gets an Archer Tower and a Tesla. The one thing I love about the E-Dragon is if there's not any air defenses in the area, and you know there's not a lot of Expos and Archer Towers initially, not only is it going to funnel, but it's going to get good value past the funnel, and it's going to get you that extra value that a P.E.K.K.A. or a Baby Dragon can't quite get. Um, so the E-Drag is going to kind of hang out up there, take out buildings, go down eventually, I think, to like an air defense or something, but it's going to take out a lot in the process. Um, meanwhile, the queen comes in here, and I think I actually missed what was used to, to funnel the other side of the queen. So let me back out real quick, because um, I I don't want to say something that was incorrect. I believe it was a just like a wizard funnel, but let, let's take a look just so I'm I'm not uh, telling you guys lies here. Yeah, just a wizard funnel, and I know that seems ins insignificant, but a lot of people might over funnel there. Totally unnecessary because the wizard gets these two buildings taken out. Let me go times one. That's kind of annoying. The wizard gets these two buildings taken out, which is all that's required for that side of the funnel. Um, because this compartment's kind of jutting out, it actually helps um, push the queen into the base. These walls are helpful in kind of containing the queen here. Um, so know when to use just a wizard or a minion, guys. Um, very important thing to think about. You want to use the least amount of troop space as possible, typically. Um, to get the job done, assuming you're not getting any defensive value. In this case, the E-Dragon, I like it's tanking the Eagle. It took out an entire um, part of the base up here. Great job creating the funnel and making it very easy for the hybrid to come through. There's less for them to have to take out initially, so they're gonna get right in there and target those defenses immediately. Kind of funny how all the hogs were deployed up on the Eagle. Um, the Eagle goes down and everything's gonna kind of meet up here under the heal spells. Very nice how all that worked out. And um, down here we have the king and we have the siege barracks, a great pair uh, when it comes to creating funnels and the warden gets a ton of value with his ability. Very nice to see all that uh, kind of play out there. This peck is gonna continue to wrap around and, um, and get more value. So yeah, guys, look to use the siege barracks for sure to funnel on these hybrid attacks because you get the benefit of the hogs coming out of the CC as well. Um, at the end and supporting your hybrid further. We will go ahead and fast forward. The queen went down, but there's still plenty of troops to finish off the base here. It's a little bit close, but there's a lot of miners still up that kind of went towards the, the outside of the base that are going to kind of come back for these last few buildings now. Let's move on to our final attack, guys. I think this is number 14 here. Um, and see what we got in store. Okay, so... Let's see. Um, this one, just a simple baby dragon funnel. Once again, a corner funnel. Um, so there's no need to get fancy with using anything that's going to take up too much troop space. Pekka would also have been a valid choice, um, especially because this air defense is kind of preventing the baby dragon from getting too much taken out. Um, but it's going to get enough down uh, that the queen's going to go the correct way. The cannon was the only thing that was kind of in danger of pulling her, but the mortar is going to be closer. And from there, the wizard tower, 
everything works out nicely. Now you can see here the king was used on the other side. Once again, we have kind of a flat side. It's kind of a corner funnel almost because um, it was pretty close to the corner down here. Uh, but there was two Teslas, a lot of damage there. Good idea using the king to get all that cleared out. Then another uh, super wall breaker comes in to push the queen deeper into the base. So that was all very nice. Um, and this attack is starting to look a little bit like some of the others we saw. Uh, king being used to help funnel the queen in uh, on the more difficult side. And then the siege barracks is going to be used to funnel the hybrid itself uh, once that starts. We'll go ahead and go times two. Um, you can see there's the siege barracks. Pekka wizards coming out. And then there's the hybrid coming through. Get that eagle down quickly, which is always important. Then they'll come through for those next uh, two inferno towers. Meanwhile, I think the queen might go down here with both those expos on her, which she does. But there's enough up to kind of wrap around the base here and get it taken out. Um, still quite a few wizards from the siege barracks, which are going to kind of help on the outside of the base there. Along with a few sneaky goblins making a nice feature uh, on the top of the base there. So anyway, the healer switch, which is very nice. Everything moves through and takes out the final defensive buildings. To wrap up for our last three star of the video, guys. Thanks for watching. Just to summarize things a little bit, um, E-Dragon, definitely the biggest investment, but I really like using it um, to take out areas that don't have a lot of defense, uh, air defense coverage and also uh, have a lot of touching buildings. You can get a bunch of defenses and get a deeper funnel. P.E.K.K.A. is good for the outside of the base when there's an air defense guarding for a baby dragon and there's maybe a couple extra defenses so it's a little bit tougher in terms of damage. If it's too tough, uh, use the king instead. Or if it's a flat side funnel, use the king um, and he can kind of transition into maybe funneling your hybrid as well, depending on uh, the attack strategy and maybe where you're going to enter with the next phase of your attack. Uh, the king can kind of be very versatile in that sense. And he's going to be your best funneling tool when everything else fails. Um, but at the end of the day, if you can get it done with uh, a baby dragon or even less, a few wizards and a, uh, maybe a, a minion or whatever it is, look to do that and then kind of work your way up in troop space to see what you can get done uh, for the, the lowest investment. Um, but anyway, that'll do it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bisectatron out.